Thank you for watching Lazy Gaming Guys. Today's episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30 day free trial at www.audibletrials.com slash nerduppedia. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, and MP3 player. Hello and welcome to a Lazy Gaming Guys new Let's Play. This is Pokemon Snap. I recorded this. <sighs> yes, Scott really recorded this. And it's just I was me really and Scott bored. this time. No shock. Because Pokemon fans only. Because Shock is a weird, poor, pathetic yes. child that didn't have a childhood. Yes, he doesn't I mean, like Pokemon. He doesn't he, he watched the anime, but he didn't really like Pokemon. It's so weird. He yeah, didn't he like didn't the game. Everyone send him a Pokemon game, please. The poor fool. Yes. I don't but, care if your copy doesn't save anymore. Send it to him anyway. But uh, either way, this is Pokemon Snap. Um, I, I'm playing the virtual console version because sadly I don't have the cable to hook up the N64, or I would be playing it on the N64. I do own it. Well, it doesn't like, it's not like it looks any different. No, but I wouldn't use the N64. But, but the complex gameplay of this is that you take pictures of Pokemon. Yes, you have to shoot Pokemon on film. With the camera. Yes. Uh, basically, at the beginning, all you can do is take pictures of like Pikachu's butt and Dodo butt. Uh, and then there's oh, that was a good butt. You know, I hate. Once again, well, I'm just gonna. I'm talking about this a little prematurely, but I hate Professor Rogue's examinations of the pictures at the end. So long. You were great. Uh, you were close. You were close. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh. Ah. Ah! <laughs> He's very, like, meme-worthy in this game. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> I... <laughs> what? And What's that? Think... Who knows? It relax. looks like a Snorlax's stomach, but unless, it, uh, unless we can tell it's a Snorlax, we don't know what the fuck Snorlax No, you have to wake it up and make it dance. Which is dance stupid. for your own amusement. Which is stupid. Also, What's I wanna you know, why are there convenient tracks in all these Pokemon areas? Maybe I don't know. Nature filled areas, there are convenient tracks all over the place. I forgot that I got really bored during this and just kept zooming in and out of the camera. What's that? Nope, too far away. And that Meowth is about to fall off that cliff or just vanish into obscurity because the N64 can't render him anymore. Yes. But also, also, I'd like to give a shout out to Ace, to one of our nerd up media people, Kelly from Reasons I'm Broke. Yes, we know you love this game a lot, so we're playing this for you and the so, fans. Yes, because I totally do that when I recorded this five months ago. No, oh, no, you record. No, most likely you recorded this because this game is uber short. I was looking. If you want the true story, I was looking for something just short on my <laughs> that I had on my Wii already to record while we had the recording stuff. But for this is stuff. one of the shortest. This is one of the shortest N64 games I've ever seen. Like, and you can't uh, take a picture of that Chansey because it's awful. Uh, yeah, unless you hit it with something like a pester ball, I think. Yeah, or an Apple Works, I think. Kangaskhan butt. Yep. Mmm. Look at that Kangaskhan butt. Look at that Pidgey butt. Like, That's real cool. Pokemon's butts. Yeah, time to take a picture and watch that Meowth get owned. Furry community, do you like this game? If, if so, tell us your favorite Pokemon. I think you can throw something Actually, in the water or something pops out. You know, that, that is a uh, magic card pop out. Oh, gross. Um, that is a great question. So, Julian, favorite Pokemon? Oh, me? Like, which one is my favorite? Yes. Just put me on a... Like, okay, does like it have to be all, something in this game, time. or like... No, of all time. Of all time? Okay, my favorite Pokemon of all time, I... Oh, it doesn't have to be like a useful Pokemon or anything. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I've had plenty of po un useless Pokemon that I've actually liked. Plus, Beautifly. <laughs> Beautifly, I actually yeah. like Beautifly, but it's useless. Um... My favorite Pokemon of all time, I think, would have to be, uh... I want to say it's something for the Ho I know it's for the Hoenn region, because... 
know. I don't know. I have it because I never really thought of this is the first time I actually thought about it, to be honest with you. I've never actually straight up thought about this. I never put my favorite Pokemon of all time before. I haven't done this since, like, Kanto. And back then, my favorite Pokemon in Kanto was Horsey. Wow, you were a sad, pathetic child. What? See, I can't. I have two favorite Pokemon because I've always had one, and then X and Y came out and gave me a second that equally matched it. Because my favorite Pokemon was always Snorlax. And Snorlax is awesome. And and wait, then, do you like Munchlax? I like Snorlax better. You I, I can relate to Snorlax. He just sleeps and eats. Actually, wait, no. I did have one before, um... Before, before Hope, before Hope. I did have one in Johto. And I think it might be one of my favorite Pokemon, because it's the one Pokemon I want to use and I don't want to evolve it. It's Totodile. I really like uh, Totodile. I wish Ash would use his Totodile more. Yeah. See, my other favorite, because X and Y came out, Esper is adorable. Scott, Esper is not adorable! Esper looks into your soul and tries to kill you! Yes! I love Esper to death. Um, anyone that disagrees with me, Esper will break your mind. You know what the sad thing is? I'm so I'm so mad that we have to come back here! We've just got done with this! Oh, don't worry. If I remember correctly, I just take one picture and then, uh, quit out of the stage. Why, do I we, hope. why is it that we had to come back here again? Uh, because I have to take one more picture in order to move on to the next course. Freaking Professor Oak! <laughs> yeah. That the rock formation to the left is a Kingler. But we don't- but we're not take looking a picture into that, that yet. Until you you can't take a picture of that till endgame. Yeah, which is stupid. <laughs> like, he'll just be like, what the hell is that? I don't, I don't know what that How is. How dare you or... take pictures of random rock formations that look like Pokemon, you fool! Yes, we're looking for actual Pokemon for Professor Oak's furry collection. Does Professor Oak wants all his Pokemon, wants all his little random Pokemon pictures? Professor Oak is like Brock from Poke Bridge. No, no. Efrox speaks to people. And Pokemon. No. Nope, I unfairly went through this entire level. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, okay Scott, which- okay Scott, which Pokemon- which random offshoot Pokemon game was your favorite? Uh, you mean Pokemon Spinoff? Yes. Um... Let's see. Cause Cause I can be I honest, this was not it. No, it's not mine either. Uh, my favorite offshoot Pokemon game would act would actually have to be either Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Lamia or Guardian Signs. Huh. Yes, people, I like the Pokemon Ranger series. Except for the first game. That's bullcrap. Okay. <laughs> we don't talk about how hard the first game is rushed. Because it's awful. And anyone that has my fellow Pokemon fans that have beaten Pokemon Ranger 1 and got that hard-earned Manaphy egg, post it in the comments, because you deserve a medal. We- I couldn't get the Manaphy egg, because I didn't play until after they were- until, like, the new copy was hard to find. Holy No, if- if you all were watching the- go back, I think Meowth was actually standing on the water. Yeah, I think- I- <laughs> I, I- I don't know, I, I saw it, but I wasn't- I wasn't, like, noticing until you said something. <sighs> But, um, mine, I have two. Mine is, um, my first one is Pokemon Coliseum, and then the second one is Pokemon Troze. Pokemon Troze is fun. Uh, Pokemon I Troze, like it, I just, you can pick up and play it randomly, and it doesn't take a lot of thought skills. I like Pokemon Battle Troze. And it was, and it wasn't cheap. It was really cheap. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon Troze is But I can't say that this, my, this one was my favorite, because I don't really have a ton of nostalgic with this game because I didn't own it. I had someone, I, once again, like most of my games from my childhood, I knew someone else who played it. Only only game from my childhood that I actually owned myself was Sonic. See, I had rented this from Blockbuster. Yes, Blockbuster, people. In case you don't know, that was a place where you rented games. And sometimes they had kiosks where you could print out these pictures. I never did that. Um, I never had a Blockbuster that went, was near, I never had a Blockbuster that actually was near me. I did that. 
But either way, I, I rented it from Blockbuster, and then when GameStop was clearancing all their, uh, well, I'm sorry, EB was clearancing all of their uh, N64 games, like, you know, just dirt cheap, I got it for like $10. So, <laughs> so that was what I picked it up, along with GoldenEye, Star Fox 64, also, and uh, also, about those Pokemon kiosks, did you actually know anybody who had one of those memory, one of those 64 memory card things? Nope. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody had their I, cartridge data. I did not know about the N64 memory card for see, years. I knew about the, see, I knew about the Sega one. I knew about the Sega Dreamcast one. I, you had to have the Sega Dreamcast one. There and was then no there was a time where Xbox yeah. had one, and that was fucking stupid. Like... Because... All of you people who owned an Xbox, who owned the first Xbox when it came out, which I have to call it the first Xbox now, because Xbox One destroyed the naming. Yeah. You know, when, if you had the first Xbox, there were these, you know, those big old honking controllers that pretty much made you think you had a black Dreamcast. Which, at you mean first, when I, the, when I saw it, I'm like, what, Black X Dreamcast? Like, no, it's an Xbox. A what? <laughs> the Xbox controller literally was the Dreamcast controller. Like, down to a T. The original Xbox controller was... Well, I think by the time the Xbox came out, I think the Dreamcast already played bankruptcy. It did. It didn't stop, you know, Microsoft from stealing its ideas, but yeah. You know, like the whole HUD system, the, you know, internet support for a online gaming. Well, the PlayStation also had internet support at the time. PS2 had the internet yeah. support. Yeah, but they took... And a yeah, huge... Like, but it came with a huge, away. annoying-ass attachment that took forever to freaking get. And anyone that actually had Dreamcast, do you still have the web browser disc? Oh, goody, try to take a picture of Ghastly or Haunter. Which uh, is Haunter. Yeah, try to take a picture of Haunter. That's fun! It's annoying and stupid because he moves around too much! Yeah, your best bet is, like, uh, right in here. It's uh, at a little bit better angle. Yes, and then also... You know what? It's once again an accurate representation. A lot of these freaking Pokemon pictures are nothing but Pokemon, but because you can't, because you can't, because oh, yeah. you always end up taking a picture of them from behind. Yes. Or from the side. Dig. Oh my God, Diglett. Yeah, Diglett. You have to use one of the trickier ones because you have to take pictures of him two or three times before he comes out as a Doug Trio. Three times, and then he comes out as a Doug Trio. That is the only way to get Doug Trio. But you have to get all of them in this game, because I think there's a point where you have to get all of them. Nope. You just have to get... I uh, love how not every single Pokemon portion. is in this. Well, actually, how would that look you trying to take a picture of Mewtwo while you're running or clearly trying to run away from him? Yeah, um, that is one thing to mention about this game, is that not all 151 Pokemon are in this game. Oh, yay! Oh. Magnemite, you can't take a picture Magnemite. of them because they freak out! Yeah, uh, unless you have apples, they you you can't take a picture of them. Also, you can get them to become magneton if you have apples by leading them together, and then they're just all like, "I'm gonna fuse together now." <laughs> you because just everyone, to quit, not even finish. Not everyone game. knows that magneton is not one of the laziest designed Pokemon of just three magnemites and a triangle. I don't know. I don't. Well, I don't know. It's the second laziest after Electro. Yes, it's just electrode. It's bigger, the and the color is upside. the colors are upside down. No, and it has that giant smile that you just want to have that ding you know, to its I teeth. What? What other Pokemon? Did I didn't know you took all those hunter pictures. Yeah, but only like one of them is any good, and it's the hunter butt. So, well, it's hunter side. So. That's good. Hunter. Professor Oak. Freaking Professor Oak. Professor Oak really loves Pokemon. I mean, he really loves Pokemon. I swear, that other one's better. It might not be as big, but it's better. See, that one's better. Yeah, I went with this it anyway. This is the problem. Sitting here trying to please Professor Oak in his freaking picky ass. Yeah, so you picky. have, like, sometimes you think the picture's really good, and Professor Oak's like, no, screw you. And sometimes you're like, wow, that's gonna be a piece of crap, and it's like, wonderful! Wonderful, I love this one. It's just, and you're it's like, wait, freaking, It's a Pikachu doing nothing! This Pikachu's actually doing something! Oh, and I should note that you get more points if they're doing something, like Electrode exploding there to two more points than if he was just sitting there or sometimes. already... 
Oh dear, it fainted! 800 points! A po yes, there's a dead Pokémon! You took a dead. picture of it, and I love it. I love the picture of the dead Pokémon you took. It's not dead, I can sit there and throw apples at it all day. What? <laughs> oh, Scott, just because you can throw apples at it doesn't mean it's dead. You can poke a dead body and it still is going to be dead. No, it's not. That makes it alive. This Pikachu's not in focus. I don't like it. This Pikachu is slightly off to the left. Screw you. This one is better. Wonderful. Technique. Ooh. Yeah, and you're also wanting to You know to what? People, like this video if you agree with me over the fact that Professor Oak is a dick and he doesn't know what a good picture is and bit him in the ass. Basically, the only requirements you have for getting a good picture in this game is the Pokemon must be in the center of the frame. And uh, it has, if possible, doing something. Because some Pokemon will not do anything, like, other than just stand there. Um, yeah, because, so, take a picture of a slow, of a slow poke fishing, it's like, hey, 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 hey. Take a bit walking, yeah, take a bit look like it's walking, suddenly it's a little bit better. <laughs> but, like, for the most part, the way to get good uh, scores in this have it take up a decent portion of the picture, but not too much of the picture, and then also make sure it's in the middle of the frame and try to make sure it's doing something. You know, Professor Oak, why would you wait till now to give me this stuff? Why didn't you give me this stuff when we were in the beginning? It's- oh, and this isn't an apple, by the way. It's just Pokémon food shaped like an apple. That's crap! No, he makes sure to tell you that it's just Pokemon food shaped like an apple. That's an apple! It looks like an apple. It's... it looks like an apple. It's colored like an apple. It has a stem like an apple, but it's... You know, who would sit there and make Pokemon... shape Pokemon food into an apple? Professor Oak. Professor Oak, everyone! <laughs> we'll see you all next time for more Pokemon goodness. Thank you for watching Lazy Gaming, guys. This episode was brought to you by, as always... Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30 day free trial by clicking on the link below. And if you want to see more lazy gaming guys, BAM! This is the first episode of Super Mario Sunshine if you haven't already watched it. And if you want to watch more Nerd Up Media and find out, learn more about comic books and figurines and whatever the heck else is making you broke, BAM! Here's an episode of The Reasons I'm Broke. Enjoy your evening as you watch Nerd Up Media content and become more broke as you as Daniel makes you want to buy things. Good night and remember to like, favorite, and subscribe.